What's happening you guys, Veggie here and today I really want to be talking about something I've learned recently that I really want to put onto you guys. You might gain an insight, you might learn something and you know it's just an experience that I've learned myself certain things when it comes to weightlifting and I've been lifting for you know near enough five years at this point and it's something that's quite powerful and it's made me a lot more humble and understanding when it comes to others in terms of lifting. So basically I've got this friend, um, I've known him for about four years at this point so I've been going to my gym around here for around five years, you know, I really love this gym. Um, but my friend's been unmotivated, he hasn't want to go to the gym, he's been losing a lot of his passion. He's an on and off person, he has been going on and off for a few years at this point. So um, he's been asking me to, you know, what, what can I do? I have, I'm finding it hard to find time after work, I need the motivation, I need the passion. And I said to him, you know, fuck it, I'll cancel my membership over here and I'll go to a gym closer to you and we can work out together. That way I still get my workout in. I have a new environment to experience weightlifting in, which is kind of cool because currently in my current gym, there's not many people who there who lift heavy, you know. I'm probably one of the strongest and I'm not being, you know, arrogant or anything. It's just what it is. There's not, it's a leisure center gym. There's not a lot of heavy lifters there. So to go to this new gym is quite, you know, it inspires me to lift more and it might give me some sort of edge when it comes to strength gaining, which is what I want. Even though I'm in a fat loss phase, I still want to be lifting as much as I can. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get a membership to this gym. And um, so I head over there, we're working out together. And um, of course, cause he's been on and off, he's, his working set's a lot lower than mine. I'd go as far as saying near enough half, which is fine. Cause you know, um, if you've been on and off, obviously you're not gonna have the strength you had when you bounce back. And I've noticed this myself. When I've taken a month off lifting, my bench is near enough 75% of what it normally is. And I only ever did that once for, you know, a bike ride for charity I was training for. Um, so basically what I noticed was we were doing squats, quite heavy squats. And um, I've never had really someone there to check on my squat form, you know. And he actually pointed something out to me and it sort of shocked me because I never thought this was normal. I've been doing this for five years at this point, guys. I thought this was completely normal. But the way I was squatting was I was squatting at the top of my spine right here. And obviously if you've been doing squats properly, you know you're supposed to lay them onto your traps, right? Just, just behind your traps. And I was doing basically at the top of my spine. Now, because I've been doing this for so many years, um, I'm shocked completely that I haven't hurt something at this point. Because I started to rationalize and think about what I've been doing over the last five years. And I'm sort of surprised I haven't permanently injured myself in some way. Because a lot of people have done it doing this way of squatting. If you've got all the weight lay laying on top of your spine, of course that can probably paralyze you in some ways. It can probably affect your posture. You might be more hunched. My general posture is quite hunched, it could be that, but just in general, he pointed out my posture was wrong and he the only way he knew this was not through lifting experience itself, but he works in the health industry and he'll have people coming to him with, you know, spine problems and it's actually come from weightlifting, from people laying the weight, you know, in that region there on their spine and obviously that makes you a lot more prone to injuries. And even though I've watched all these powerlifting videos and tried to put them in practice when it comes to lifting, it's quite clear I've got something wrong. And you know what? I'm willing to change. Even someone who's lifting near enough half of what I am, I'm willing to listen to him, to understand him, and to take this lesson in and understand that if I continue to do what I am doing, I'm going to permanently injure myself. I could paralyze myself, I could slip a disc in my back, I could need surgery. And obviously, I'd rather put my ego aside and be safer than sorry. So I started to look online. And I started to get more of an insight of the proper squat technique when it comes to, you know, a high bar squat. And from that insight, I've actually learned a lesson, you guys, and I've learned to be more humble and understanding when I'm listening to him. Because at first I was thinking, what is he going on about? This is how you squat. I've been doing this for years. But when he broke it down and explained it to me, how he had seen patients who had these sorts of problems, he basically had the testimonial to what he was saying and I trusted him and I did my research and I found out, yeah, I'm doing it wrong. So you guys, if you have the same problem, don't put the barbell, you know, on this top, top part of your spine, you know, where the start of your spine is, that sort of ball, you don't want to put it there. Even though you feel nothing, you can permanently fuck something up. And I found laying it on my traps, I couldn't squat not nearly as much as I normally do. I think I was doing 90 kilo squats. And I felt excruciating pain because I never lie on my traps. So I've come to the conclusion my traps are weak and I need to start training my traps. 
and I never realized this and it's just an amazing insight I never would have had unless I had this dude training by my side and pointing this out to me. Could you imagine if I went on years and years with this bad technique? You know, when I'm when I'm in my when I'm in my thirties or forties I'd end up having some sort of permanently fucked up spine problem. And it's best to just leave your ego aside you guys and just take on advice from anyone. Anyone who gives you advice just even if you don't agree with it, just take it on board and do a bit of research, try and understand if it's valid or not, obviously before you jump to a conclusion, and then adjust it accordingly. <laughs> People who lift a lot lower than you can clearly give you um, advice on your technique. And some of my lifts have actually been jeopardized in terms of technique, because I'm in a fat loss phase and I feel like I don't have enough energy to maintain technique. And you guys also might experience this, but obviously sometimes you just need to lower the weight, you need to be more humble, you need to put your ego to the side, and you really need to understand that when it comes to fat loss, you're going to be losing some of your strength. You can easily build that back up again when you're bulking, but just leave your ego at the door and do what you need to do when it comes to lifting. If you need to correct your technique, correct your technique. If you need to lower the weight, lower the weight. Ego in the long run will cause you so many permanent injuries, so many potential for permanent injuries, you know, bicep tears, um, slipping a disc in your back, tricep tendonitis I've actually had. You know, there's so many different injuries you can get from weightlifting. Just be more careful when you're lifting, more conscious of the movements you're making. And if you start to experience anything that isn't muscle pain, that might be, you know, some ligament that's acting up or aching, it might be worthwhile getting some, you know, advice from someone who actually has the experience. You know, maybe a chiropractor or someone who actually has the experience they can put onto you. And you need, just need to be more humble and understand that people who lift lower than you might actually have a better understanding when it comes to these movements and the injury that comes along with them. Anyway guys, I figured I might as well wrap this video up because I'm probably going on and on. This is Vegetetics, looking kind of more cut. Um, I'm around 76 kilos now, I've cut so much weight out, I'm feeling amazing. I'm on 2,000 calories, I don't know how I feel amazing on bloody low carb diets. Anyway guys, I'll probably make a posing video in the future. I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.